I'm back at, I'm at lgbtcutie.com and these are the people that are running it. Now Hello. tell me tell I'm me excited. what you what you are and what you do. We are the relationship and social networking site for the entire LGBTQ community and what makes us different is that we are relationship oriented and we are filling a much needed uh, gap in the community. No, at least you're not one of these sites where people go in to have quick quickies or something. Yeah, no quickies nearby. here. This right. is for more um, long-term relationships. The only thing quick is the sign-up process. <laughs> <laughs> and then, and then you have guidelines like you meet people in public places. In other words, you ask them questionnaires like what their interests are. Yeah, we have specific questions called from the LGBT questionnaire, which is more tailored towards the needs of our community. Such as quick ones. So, like I was saying, um, are you out to your family? Are you a top or a bottom? I mean, we ask very uh, unique questions that are more geared towards our community that might not be applicable to the heterosexual. Right. So when you see someone's profile, you have an idea of whether they're, where they're coming from, what their taste in music are. Right. Well, what, and what, what their, their taste in food is. Do you even get into their history? Have you had a relationship before? Any yes. of that? Any divorce yes, history? Oh, you yes, do? Oh. we do get into that history. And, and what are, you, are, are there any key questions that you would say to people that filling out a profile? Like, well, yeah. I mean, there's a lot of details that they can put in. I always tell people it isn't serious. You've been together for a year. Was that? I well, I was it does people, vary. You, people think they're madly in love, and you know, it, a lot of times. Well, it's usually a lot of infatuation at first, exactly. the honeymoon right. phase, and right. then you know, it's a lot of relationships at work. But right. you know, it's different for everybody. Right. Yeah. And, and eHarmony.com, they claim that they have more marriages, more success, but they had to be sued to include right. gay people, right? Do they? Yeah, we are actually members of the LGBT community ourselves, uh -huh. so we know the needs of the community better, and it seems to be better to and stay how did you how did you come up with the idea that this, because it seems to me that you're carving out a space in the digital world for LGBT people, it's a front, and you're doing it with a sense of commitment and responsibility of community, it which is not, ju it's not just money. It doesn't have to be commitment in the traditional sense, but... Um, I'm saying commitment to making, having people know what other people are looking for. It's not just some cute face that you click on, you like, and they send you a nude picture right, and exactly. you meet them in 30 minutes. Maybe get <laughs> and maybe and maybe and maybe get maybe get murdered or, or robbed or whatever you know. Yeah, our site is for people who know what they want. Right, and uh, what do you have? You said social networking. Say that I'm an opera lover, and I have two yearly tickets to the Metropolitan Opera. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And I, and I mean, oh, if I could, I pull in there and say, I have two tickets and I like to take some lines. I have an extra ticket. Anyone interested in a blind date to go to the Metropolitan Opera? That's that a perfect you'd description of, of what we, uh, one of the features we have on our site, which is an events And page. what's it called? Is there a specific name for the feature? Um, it's it? actually just on the top tab. You just click events and you can create your own events. Oh, oh. So you have say you have three tickets to the opera. You can say I have three oh. tickets to the opera. Uh, I would like to invite three people to come with me. All they do is they sign up, uh, they RSVP on the event site, and you've got your uh, you know fellow. And you might even meet them at the opera. Exactly. Yeah, you oh. could do that with anything. Okay. You could be throwing a party at a bar. Well, and we're you almost out of town. Yeah. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. And I'll be looking forward to visiting cutie.com. LGBTQD.com. I frankly don't need any more. I don't need any more uh, love affairs. Thank you.